Hmm, what should I make for dinner? I still want some enchiladas, but I don't have enough time. Oh, I know. I'll try this old El Paso enchilada dinner kit. Josh told Spoo, we really love enchiladas, but they take a really long time to make from scratch. So let's see if this enchilada dinner kit is any So good. let's see if it can be quick and tasty. So let's see what comes in the kit. We have some enchilada seasoning mix for the chicken, and we have some um, enchilada sauce and 12 tortillas because we're making two boxes of it, and then just two um, cube chicken breasts. For this box recipe, we're not going to add any extra ingredients to it like onion, garlic, or any seasonings because we want to see if this bot's recipe is actually any good. First up, put butter in the pan. Now that our butter is almost melted, we're going to add our chicken. Chicken's done cooking, so now we're going to add water with the seasoning mix. Now just stir that until it combines. Our chicken is done and we added the seasoning mix and you can see that now our sauce is thick. So now I'm just going to add some of this um, chicken and sauce into our in flour tortilla and then assemble our enchilada. We have our enchiladas assembled, um, we have a little extra sauce, but that's fine, just we're just going to pour it over the top of the enchiladas. step from the instructions is to pour the enchilada sauce over the enchiladas. It comes for two bags for each six enchiladas, so we're going to pour these two bags over these ones and that's two bags over those ones. Now we have our enchilada sauce pour poured over our enchiladas. Last step is to cover them with cheese. All right, now the cheese is on the enchiladas. So now I'm just gonna bake them and then show you the end product. The enchiladas are done, so now let's just take them out and let's taste them. We have a little piece here of the enchilada, so now let's taste it. 
the tortilla became gooey like that. The enchilada sauce tastes like really good with that. Um, overall, I like that. The tortilla became a little gooey, but that's good. I like how much cheese is on top. And then the chicken that just adds awesome flavor. You could use corn, corn tortillas for this. I, I prefer corn tortillas over the flour tortillas. So you could have substituted that for the flour. But we're just trying to judge this off of what the bots came with. So overall, I think this is a great buy. It has an awesome value. Uh, this is an awesome alternative for making um, enchiladas from scratch. It's quick, easy, and it's pretty cheap. So from the money perspective and the taste, I give it a 9 out of 10. Overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. Because it's flavorful, it's cheap, and it's easy. But why do you 9 out of 10s? Because it would have tasted better with corn tortillas. But that's just me, so let me know what you think in the comments. This has been Joshua Talks. Like and subscribe. Your support always helps. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.